Okay, on this question, they're asking us to use the grid method to multiply 84 times 25. So what this is about, this is a different way to multiply numbers. So um, the normal way, let, let me do the normal way over here, which you already know quite well. So here is the normal way to multiply a couple of numbers. You know what to do, right? You take 5 times 4. You start here, don't you? 5 times 4 is 20. You write the, carry the 2, bring down the 0. And then the 5 times the 8 is 40. And then you add the 2, 42, right? That's the first part. Okay. And then that guy's done. Come back in here and get rid of that guy. All right. And now this guy's done, in a sense. And we start with the 2. We're going to go... And we add a 0 to begin with. 2 times 4 is 8. And 2 times 8 is 16. And then we add these numbers. 0 and 0 is 0. 8 and 2 is 10. Carry the 1. That's 11. Right there. Carry the 1. And that's a 2. 2100 is the answer. Now that's the normal way. That's the way you're, at least by hand. I mean, I know we, we push the buttons on the calculator most of the time, me included. But when you teach younger folks how to do this by hand, that's the normal way. And that, of course, is, it's called, this is the normal way, this is the standard. Whoops, let me write that a little bit better. It's moving all over the place. Okay, there we go. This is the standard algorithm or method, right? An algorithm is just a method. It's a fancy word for method. So this is the normal way, the standard way, the standard algorithm, the standard method is, is right here. This is what you normally do. And that's a good way, and that's how you should teach kids. But I want to show you a different way, just so you have perspective. Like always in this unit of the course, we're showing you other ways to do things so that you have a deeper, wider perspective on the way we multiply numbers. Okay, so this is called the grid method. What do you do? You bring the 84 over here, and you write 80 and 4. You write the actual 80 instead of 8, 4. You write 80 and 4, because you know that's what 84 really is, an 80 and a 4. And then the 25, you bring down here, 20 and 5. Okay, now, what we're going to do, I bet you can guess, we're going to multiply the numbers. In other words, 20 times 80. So right here, oops, change my pen, 20 times 80. You can use your calculator. You can use your calculator on everything, the homework, the tests, everything. 1,600. 1,600. And now, we're going to go 20 times 4. We're just going to do every row with every column. And so what are we going to get there? 20 times 4. You can just go 2 times 4, 8, and then add the 0, 80, right? 1,600 there, 80 there. Now 5 times 80, these guys are going to multiply, the rows and the columns multiply. So 5 times 80, well you know 5 times 8 is 40, and then add that 0, 400. And final box, 5 times 4, the row and the column get together, 5 times 4 is 20. Okay, now how do we finish up this problem? Well, now we add down and down. So add these up. Whoops, got to get my other pen there. Add these up. 1,600 and 400, well, that's 2,000. Use your calculator, feel free. And then add these up. 80 and 20 is 100. And then final answer, add these up, 2,100. See how that's the same? Same answer in the end, a different way of multiplying. What, what did we really do there? Well, we really said 84 is made out of 80 and 4, of course, and 25 is made out of 20 and 5. And so then we used those to multiply every possible combination because that's what it really means. 84 times 25 really means... 80 times 20 and 5, and 4 times 20 and 5. Get those four answers and then add them all up. And the way we add them up is we added these two and these two and then added these two, so they all added up. That's what multiplying really is with a two-digit number and a two-digit number is you multiply all the parts together and add them all up, which is what this is doing a different way. So I just want to give you a wider, deeper perspective on the way we multiply.